Hey everyone, I just wanted to pop in and I don't know, I just wanted to pop in and say hi. So I kind of feel like for some of you, someone might want to just either stop over and say hi. Sorry if the smoke is, I'm having a cigarette, but um, they might just want to say hello, like reconnect or connect with you. Like, oh, hi, how's it going? Um, so there could be someone that is going to reach out to some of you. This is very impromptu is what it feels like because I wasn't going to do a reading or a channeling or anything. And I'm sitting out here just having a smoke by myself. I was actually re-watching um, a reading I did on Willow's Wisdom and there was 4,044 views on it. And I was just like, wow, I haven't had that many views on a video in a long time. I got to put more over there. Um, I don't have that many subscribers yet, but you know, it's all in the works. I can only do so much. <laughs> I'm doing what I can, but regardless, there's an opportunity here for someone. There's an opportunity for someone to do something, not just to say something to you, but I mean, I kind of feel like that's, I don't know, someone's going to either present an opportunity to you or you them but I feel like I just heard now is the time so whatever that means now is the time to say this do this whatever it could be a project you know maybe somebody wants to collab with you or they want to just connect connect or reconnect now is the time change is upon us which is funny because before I came out here I saw 555 on the clock which is like massive shifts and changes and this is the full moon energy that we're in right now I just heard you're right on the money you're right on the money with the situation I'm staring at the dartboard the bullseye it's really weird how signs come in I'm just saying what would that be I just heard nothing <laughs> what would that be that would be nothing um anyways yeah you're right on the money with something. So whatever signs and synchronicities you're seeing, sensing, whatever, picking up on, um, you're right on the money with something. And it could be upsetting to certain people, especially if they're contained in the situation, like if they're part of a problem or something. Um, but regardless of that, okay. Now I'm being drawn back to, I just watched, it's funny, it was posted like, well, probably three hours ago now, but it was, it had just been posted and it was about the Chris Watts case, but it wasn't just what happened because I, I know all the details about that. I, I got obsessed with that case when it happened and I swear to God, Shanann was here. I really, I really feel like she's been talking to me because some of the little signs and, um, weird things that pop up that make no sense actually pertain to that case which is kind of fucked up but regardless of that um there was this one and it was about signs like her which is weird that she was she was here talking whether you believe it or not and I was drawn to watch that because I haven't watched anything on the case because I've seen just about everything there is to see about it. There's nothing new. You know, he's in fucking jail where he belongs. He should rot in hell. But regardless, um, it was about, like, the signs leading up to what happened. And throughout the entire case, like, all the little details. Pay attention to the details. The devil is in the details. I've said that before. And that's true for that situation, but it's true for a lot of other situations too. Whether it involves something that severe or not, whether it's illegal or not, 
you know, like, when you're trying to figure out if you're doing the right thing, or if somebody's bullshitting you, basically, like, if they're lying, if they're breaking the law or not, or they're just being deceptive, there's always signs. There's always signs. Pay attention to the little signs, the little things, the little white lies. Because a lot of people, it's easy to, it's easy to say white lies, you know, because like I've said before, we're not programmed to lie. So people always get caught, but it's easy to do little white lies because you don't have to come up with much detail and you don't have to come up with a story and all that bullshit, but you still forget. You still forget. There's someone here who might not tell elaborate stories. For some of you, there is someone who does tell elaborate stories, and that's how you're going to catch them, because the details aren't going to add up. But regardless of how elaborate their story is, or how, how major or minor it is, if it's like little white lies, like, okay, I'm telling like 10 white lies a day. <laughs> yeah, I don't know, whatever the fucking number is. And they're... They're just so minor. Like, no one will pay attention to this because it, it's so minor. No one's going to pay attention. But someone's paying attention. Or you need to pay attention. You need to. Because that's... That's where you'll find the truth. Especially if you're dealing with someone who just is a phony baloney. I'm just saying. A chronic lie or something. There's someone here who fucking lies. All the time. There's more than one person in your life, in this situation surrounding you who is lying about different shit. So it's like person one's lying about blah, blah, whatever. Person two is lying about blah, 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 whatever. Like it's separate situations all in the same person's life. But that's how you're going to catch them. The proof is in the pudding. It is. But anyways, that's how you're going to catch them. Little slip ups. Because like I said, liars always forget. And when they forget, you remember. And you go, wait a minute. If you start questioning things, that's where the questions come in. So if you're questioning someone, it's probably because they were spreading little white lies. Even if it was just to you because they didn't want you to know something. Um, it's something like that. Like, give me an example, spirit. Like, okay, for example... I don't have any money. I'm broke. Um, like, I have zip zero, nada, zero. Like, nothing. And then they tell you that. Someone says this. I don't know if this is in a partnership or if it's just someone saying it, but it's an example. I have no money. And then they come home with something. Like, they bought whatever the fuck they bought. And you're like you said you had no money well how did you buy this if you have no money and you didn't you don't question them so you're like mm -hmm, okay you have no money but you bought that noted and but it keeps happening so it's like I was like all right well how are you getting this <laughs> either you're a thief or you're a liar or both and then all of a sudden they say something like they worked a side job or they got this, they got, I don't know, they, they, they figure it out because they feel like you're going to catch on. What they don't realize is you already have, you already caught on. In the situation, regardless of money, it could be anything. It's just an example pay attention to little things like that. Um, there was a reading I did recently where I said there was a dragonfly that was significant. And it's funny because I have that one that I made a long time ago. And there's also this little metal dragonfly that I have hanging in my closet above the baby's bassinet right now, which I haven't redone the closet. I'm going to, but regardless of that, doesn't matter. Something significant to do with dragonflies. Messages. These messages are significant. Dragonflies are bringing messages. Some of you could be seeing dragonflies, like real ones, um, or images of them. I just heard changes coming, so that's what that's about. Dragonflies are representing changes coming. Even if it feels shitty in the moment, it's for the best. So it's like a tower moment's coming in for someone. 
because towers don't normally feel the best, but they're for the best. They don't feel the best, but they're for the best, and in the end, you know, it's like, oh, I'm glad that happened kind of thing. Something like that. You're on the right track if any of you are wondering if you're making the right choice or not. If you're, if you're thinking about doing something, saying something, or if you're wondering if the decisions that you've made up until this point are correct, yes, you are on the right track. If this is going to resonate, something about a hook, hook, line, and sinker. So it's like a fishing analogy, gone fishing. Someone took the bait. I don't know. I feel like spirit set a trap for someone and they took the bait. unbeknownst to you so you didn't do this but that's how you're gonna find out someone okay I heard someone's too high strung but I also heard that they're they're like way in their ego so whoever that is took the bait because I'm above it all is what I just heard there's someone who thinks they can get away with shit and they can't they suck um I just heard you failed. Not you, but there's some, whoever that is, who's, whoever's in that energy, they failed epically. There's something significant to do with a rock or a stone or something like that. Um, this could be someone in your family, not necessarily, or you have family ties to whoever this is. There's a triangle that's significant, so it could be triangulation, but regardless of that, a triangle. Um, like push play, an arrow, something. I just heard you've got it all wrong. Whoever the triangle's representing or whatever the fuck that's about, you got it all wrong. Um, or the people who listen to whoever that person is got something wrong. You got it all wrong. I just heard in my head what the fuck is wrong with you so someone might want to chastise another person there's so much more to this than meets the eye there's something significant to do with the color black I don't know if it's someone's skin color like if that's you know just whatever or if it's black paint I don't know something that's black got it all wrong. Whoa. I just heard you got it all wrong and now you're going to have to pay. There's something significant to do with solar lights as well. I've mentioned power quite a few times but solar, solar panels, solar lights. Someone could have them outside or they work on them. I don't fucking know. Something. I just heard you only see when the sun is shining, but you don't when it's dark. So there's someone here who's not listening to themselves. They're not listening to their intuition. They're listening to what someone says. They're only getting clarity based off from either your own intuition, if you're talking to this person or if you're saying something. Someone's getting information through what you say, but not from themselves. And they need to look within. I'm not saying that what you say is wrong, but we always need to listen to ourselves first. Always. And if you're misguided, you know, talk to a practitioner or like if you're spiritually misguided, talk to a practitioner and, you know, just, just to get confirmation. Because I want to say readings. Yeah, they're predictive, especially with what I do. I'm a psychic medium, so there's a lot of predictive energy in here. But... It's also confirmation for yourself because we all have intuition. We all, we all are guided in our own lives, whether we realize it or not. That's why a lot of people be like, oh, that resonates or, oh, that's what I was thinking. And then you said it. It's not just psychic abilities. Yeah, it is on my end because I don't know you guys, but it, it's so that it confirms what you're feeling. So whatever you're feeling that's been confirmed if you remember that feeling you know like oh I'm just so drawn to this kind of thing 
That's your intuition. That's you. You're doing it all on your own, baby. And you got this. No one's going to be able to stop you, so that's fine. Whatever that means to you. It could be career, life, love, whatever. Like, whatever... Whatever path you're on is your path and you're going to attain your goal and you're going to get what you what you want and what you deserve. Uh, there's no one that can that can stop whatever this is for you. It has something to do with love because that's what's popping up. So if if there's been issues in your love life where you know there's been blockages and hurdles to climb over people could have caused some shit, you know, caused issues and stuff for you. But every it's it's all part of the divine plan. Everything happens for a reason is what I want to say with that. And it's like if someone exited your life because of what someone said or did or whatever, it was meant to be that way. Because there's someone fucking better for you. Wow. I just heard if that motherfucker is this weak, is that weak, like so weak that they can't, they don't have a strong enough backbone to stay in a situation or to make something work because of what other people say, then they're not worth your fucking time. So if there was gossip, there's someone that's just not worth your time because they, they exited, no matter how strongly you felt about them, because... Someone who actually gives a shit will try and they won't care what other people think or feel or say or whatever. Someone gets wounded very easily. That's probably who that person is. I don't know. Spirit was just calling someone a weak mofo. Like you're a fucking pansy. Someone's a pansy. Oh, just because this person's different? Just because this is out of the norm? you're too afraid oh my god I just heard you're not a man you're not a fucking man real men it could be a masculine just saying or a man I don't know because this is what's coming through a, re a real man stands up for what he believes in for who he loves for what he wants they don't cower down and hide Someone needs to hear that. I don't know. Um, <laughs> man, spirit's just like chastising the fuck out of someone because I just heard grow the fuck up. So there's someone who needs to grow up, apparently. And this is an adult. This isn't a, a young adult or a child or anything. This is an adult. Grow the fuck up. You're not who. I raised you to be. You're not who you should be. That's probably not the viewer. I don't know who the fuck that's for, to be honest. It's for, it's actually for a man. It's not just masculine. That was a message for a man. That man lies. I don't know what he lies about, but he lies. I just heard he lied to you. He lied to you. Regret will soon follow. That's not your problem. That's theirs. Uh, I just heard I miss you. Man, I went from chastise, chastising energy to, like, I miss you. I'm here for you. Even if you think I'm not, I'm here for you. I'll always be here for you. I support whatever decision you make. Whether you want to start something or end something. Whether you want to start this or end this. I just heard I love you. That could be a family thing. Um, or a love relationship, but... Somebody's rising to the top um, in a situation like 
it could be financially, but it feels, I don't know, there's a level of success here and recognition, no matter what that means to you. Your hard work has not gone on, gone unnoticed. Even if you feel like nobody cares and nobody's there and that you're doing things by yourself or that your accomplishments mean mean don't mean anything basically mean nothing except for to you like so like you get excited when you accomplish this or that and nobody else cares about your accomplishments there are people that do care there's multiple but there's someone specific who does care like like I'm so proud of you I want you to know how proud I am I didn't always see but I'm very proud because your perseverance has paid off is what I want to say with that you're not alone even if you feel alone even if you literally are alone you're never alone most of you know that but whether spirits around or not it's always nice to have physical people in our environment that have our back i just heard the people around you don't have your back they're all there for an ulterior motive or some type of reason that is selfish a self they're all there for selfish purposes if this is going to resonate like I don't know, I want to give you accolades, I want to praise you, but it's just because I want you to be around. That's what people are doing to some of you. They'll fall to the wayside. I'm seeing souls rise up. So it, it's not them changing, it's not these people changing, it's them falling. I was thinking, it's reminding me of the movie Noah where he was chosen and of course no one fucking believed him actually even divine beings didn't believe him because they would have thought that the creator would have you know sent a different sign someone's not understanding something they're not believing something they're not truly seeing because they're looking with their eyes they're not looking with their heart but anyways mind body and soul whatever that is to you but anyways someone's not paying attention to something but in that movie the part that i'm thinking of is those rock creatures they were angels and they were basically damned to earth and they had to serve people and the human race and the human race fucked them over big time and basically attacked them for helping them which kind of happens to light workers just gonna say like people like myself where we get attacked because we're not believed and we're wrong in what we say. And then it happens and people go, oh shit, I shouldn't have done that. I shouldn't have been against so-and-so or whatever. But regardless, in that movie, they didn't believe Noah. Like, Noah was chosen to save, to salvage whatever life he could, basically, because god was going to just wipe everything out that's the premise of the story and the rock people only one of them believed one of them was like i see something in you but he he followed the rest of them originally and then ended up going against the rock people's <laughs> uh, going against them and helping Noah and then of course the creator proved that Noah was chosen so someone's proving their gifts they're they're proving that they were a chosen one because of what they see feel sense whatever whatever's going on and and then they all band together and helped and because they served their purpose there was retribution and they went back they went back home where they wanted to be they got what they wanted because they did the right thing because they were faced with the choice just like everyone on earth free will 
and they made the right choice. Like the other aspect of that movie it's it's reminding me of is where Noah's like, yeah, humanity has gone to shit basically and we're supposed to be wiped out because we're being punished. And when the the girl who was barren um, ended up becoming fertile because that's what Noah's wife wished for because her son was with with her, with the girl, she ended up getting pregnant with twins and Noah said if they're girls, if it's a girl, I will kill them. And um, she ended up having twin girls and of course she was going to do the sacrifice even though she didn't want to and she was fighting it till the end and Noah couldn't do it and his wife had said something very profound where she was like, you know, you were faced with a choice. He gave you a choice and you chose love. You chose love. You could have obliterated the human race. You could have You could have done something evil, but you chose love. And thank you for that. Because that's what God does. No matter who your higher power is, no matter what you call him or her or whatever, we're all faced with a choice in life. Many choices. Are you going to do good or are you going to do bad? Choose love. Love is all you need. And I'm going to go now. Love you guys. Bye.